In Beijing, the World Humanoid Robot Games took place in August. Robots sprint, stumble, and some even crash into each other. Teams arrived from across the globe, including the United States, Germany, and Brazil. Of the 280 participating groups, 192 represented universities, while 88 came from private tech companies, including China's own Unitry and Fourier Intelligence. Most of the robots were developed by Chinese manufacturers like Booster Robotics. The competitions weren't limited to sports. Robots also faced different and unique tasks. These include sorting medications and handling materials to perform cleaning services. It was China's bold statement. Robotics and artificial intelligence are no longer a scene out of Chappie. They are here, and this is just the start. A new kind of Olympics. For three days, humanoid robots raced in track and field events, swung paddles in table tennis, and even played football. But these weren't just fun challenges. Organizers seem to have made the games as a testing for innovation. It looked like a chance for developers to gather real-world data that could help shape robots for factory work, healthcare, and household services. One of the highlights was the 400-meter sprint, where robots ran into the race with little hopes from the crowd. And here's my favorite part of the race. A robot developed by Unitry Robotics claimed the gold medal in the 1,500-meter indoor race, completing the course in 6 minutes and 34.40 seconds. According to an expert, the performance was remarkable, even if it didn't come close to the human world record of 3 minutes. Still, the robot ran faster than many human runners and demonstrated just how far humanoid games have come. Look, Here's the thing, a recreational runner might take seven to eight minutes to cover the same distance. Seeing a machine achieve near-human speeds shows exactly how future robots could one day help in tasks requiring speed or agility. Some managed smooth strides, others collapsed mid-race. In the 1,500-meter event, one robot running at full speed suddenly fell over, causing gasps, laughter, and applause to emerge from the crowd. Football matches were no less chaotic. These were my second favorite, to be honest. Four humanoids collided in into a huge mess during one game, but it was pretty fun to watch. Max Poulter, a member of the HTWK robots football team from Germany, said that, we come here to play and to win, but we are also interested in research. The crowd roared every time a robot managed to pick itself up without human help. This is harder than it looks for bipedal machines. During the soccer matches, the robots often collided and fell, drawing laughter from the crowd. Tired of your coffee going cold? The Ember Mug keeps your drink perfectly hot, so the last sip is as good as the first. The perfect upgrade for you, or a great gift for our loved ones. Click the link in the comment section to buy now. In one moment, a goalkeeper stood motionless as its rival kicked the ball against its legs multiple times before finally slipping it past to score. The kickboxing segment wasn't much different. Robots, which were fitted with brightly colored gloves and protective headgear, swung wildly, often missing their targets entirely. One commentator on the official live stream joked, let's just say their accuracy needs a little fine tuning. They're mostly punching the air. Why China is investing billions? China is pouring billions into humanoid robotics as it faces two huge challenges. One, an aging population that will need assistance in daily life. And two, intense competition with the U.S. for leadership in artificial intelligence and humanoid robots. These games are part of a larger strategy. In recent months, Beijing has also staged what it called the world's first humanoid robot marathon, hosted major robot conferences, and even opened retail stores dedicated to selling humanoid robots. As analysts from Morgan Stanley noted in a recent report, public attendance at China's robotics events has surged. This isn't just a government initiative anymore, it's becoming a national fascination. More than entertainment, data is important. While the images of robots falling over made headlines, the real significance lies in what happens behind the scenes. Every crash, stumble, and recovery provides data. This information is important for improving balance, coordination, and teamwork algorithms which could later be applied to assembly line robots that need to coordinate with others, service robots in hospitals or homes, disaster response robots navigating unpredictable terrain. And here's the best part. Football matches, for example, aren't just games. They're actually training sessions for multi-robot collaboration, something factories of the future will depend on. We may laugh at these events, but hey, they are actually gaining so much data from these falls and stumbles. What people are saying, the event started a massive conversation online. Here are some reactions worldwide. 
On Weibo, China's Twitter-like platform, many praise the games as a proud moment with one user writing, this is the Olympics of the future. Humans watch, robots play. On Reddit, the mood was more mixed. Some celebrated the engineering, achievements, while others poked fun at the clumsy tumbles. One popular comment read, looks like FIFA 3025 is going to be wild. On X, formerly Twitter, US tech commentators debated whether America should organize a similar event. One viral tweet said, while we argue about AI regulation, China is literally training robot athletes. Wake up. Some people were pretty annoyed by these games, pointing out that we should focus on real problems going on in the world instead. What if your water bottle glowed to help you reach your hydration goals? The Lark bottle does. Its smart sensor tracks your intake and glows to remind you when it's time to drink. Plus, it purifies your water on the go. Prioritize your health with the perfect gift for you and your loved ones. Click the link in the comment section to never forget to hydrate again. These comments show an important point. The cultural aspects of robotics are pretty different between East and West. In China, robotics is celebrated as national progress. In the US and Europe, discussions are often focused on fears about automation, unemployment, and safety. The bigger picture, US versus China in robotics. This event isn't happening in isolation. Robotics is the next frontier in the US-China tech rivalry. While the US leads in AI software and chips, China is betting on embodied AI. This means that robots that can think, move, and interact physically. The World Humanoid Robot Games serve as soft power too. They show China as an innovator and leader in sports, entertainment, and robots as well. And here's a little secret that they aren't telling us. The ticket prices range 128 to 580 yuan, 18 to 80 dollars. This means that the organizers proved there's commercial interest as well. If robotics truly becomes the new Olympics, it's not just medals at stake, it's influence, markets, and dominance. Could we see a real robot Olympics soon? The Beijing event raises fascinating questions. Will the International Olympic Committee one day host a robot category? Could humanoid football leagues replace esports as the next big thing? Will these competitions create robot celebrities, much like human athletes? If trends continue, the answer might be yes. The combination of sport, AI, and national pride is too powerful to ignore. So, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more info on AI robots and new technology.